Hey guys, welcome back to Nextgen Blog uh, and welcome to the first episode of Audacity. In this particular tutorial, I want to show you how you can edit an audio file in the Audacity editor. So, couple of things which you are going to learn after watching this video is how to import an audio track in Audacity, how to trim an audio track in Audacity, and finally how to export the trimmed audio track in audacity so without further delay let's get started and see how you can do this now first when you open up the audacity editor this is the interface which you are going to see now to import an audio track you need to go to file and then go to import and then click on audio now select the audio track which you want to import in the editor so this is the audio track which I want to import. So let me just select this and then click on the open button. Now it might take a couple of seconds for the audio track to get imported in the editor. But once it's done, this is what you're going to see on screen. So our audio is represented using this waveform as you can see on screen. Now, if you look at the top left hand side, you will find these three buttons, which are pretty much self explanatory. So this is the play button. This is the stop button and this is the pause button. So let me just quickly play this audio for you by clicking on this play button. Right now, I've clicked on the pause button. The moment I click on the pause button once again, my audio will resume playing from the position from where it is paused right now. So let me just click on the pause button once again. And finally, by clicking on the stop button, the audio stops playing. So these were some of the basics. Now let's move on to the next step, which was to see how to trim an audio track in Audacity. So to trim an audio track in Audacity, first you need to select a portion from the audio, which you need to keep. And then what we will do is we will delete the remaining portion of the audio, which we do not want. So let's say I want to keep this particular portion of the audio starting from one minute, 15 seconds and ending at two minutes. So what I will do is take the cursor and double click on the waveform at roughly around one minute, 15 seconds, double click and then drag the selection towards two minutes like this. Perfect. Now I know the timing might not be exactly correct. And so to properly write the timings, what you can do is you can come below right here. You will find these two text boxes. So this first text box denotes start of selection and this second text box denotes end of selection. So inside the start of selection text box, if you look at the values, currently the values are 00H, 01M, 15.059 seconds. So one minute 15 seconds is proper, but inside milliseconds text box 059 is there. So instead of 059, I would like 000. So click on the milliseconds text box, write 000. Perfect. Now let's look at the end of selection text box. Inside end of selection text box, currently the values are 00H, 02M, 00.635 seconds. So once again, two minutes is properly written but inside the milliseconds text box 635 is there. So instead of 635, I would like to write 000. So click on the milliseconds text box once again and write 000. Perfect. 
and we have successfully set the selection properly and now what we will do is we will go to edit and we will go to remove special and the last option is trim audio so click on this option trim audio perfect and now as you can see the portion of the audio which we selected is present on the timeline and the rest of the audio is now deleted perfect now what we will do next is we will align this particular portion of audio at the beginning of the timeline currently it is placed in the middle of the timeline so to align this particular portion of the audio at the beginning of the timeline you need to go to tracks and inside tracks you need to go to align tracks and inside align tracks you need to select start to zero this option start to zero so click on this option and the moment you click on start to zero the portion of the audio track which was present in the middle of the timeline is now placed at the beginning of the timeline as you can see right here now let me just quickly play this particular portion of the audio track to you so let me just play this audio for you Now the duration of this portion of the audio which we kind of cut out from the main audio is 45 seconds which you can see right here. So the duration of this portion of the audio is 45 seconds and what I would like to do is at around 44 seconds I would like to add a fade out effect alright I would like to add a fade out effect at around 44 seconds. So meaning the last in the last one second of the audio track a fade out effect will come. So to do that first take your cursor and place it at around 44 seconds and as you can see right here my cursor is properly placed at 44 seconds and now what you need to do is you need to select the region from 44 seconds to 45 seconds and so to do that go to select and then go to region and you need to select this option called cursor to track end so select this option called cursor to track end perfect and now the region from 44 seconds to 45 seconds is now selected and now what we will do is in this particular one second we will add a fade out effect so go to effect and then select fade out perfect and so now if I just quickly play this audio for you so listen to the last one second carefully when the cursor comes to the last one second of the audio listen to that particular region carefully so as you can see in the last one second a fade out effect has been successfully added perfect so we are pretty much done with trimming the audio and finally what I would like to do is I would like to export this particular audio so to export this particular audio you need to go to file and then you need to go to export and then you need to click on this option called export audio now the moment you click on export audio this export audio dialog will open up now you need to select where you want your audio to get saved so I've already created a folder called audacity recordings in my desktop so 
I would like my audio to get saved in that folder. So I've already selected that folder. Now you can write the name of your audio file right here. And inside save as type, you need to select wave Microsoft. There are other options as well, and we will see them in my future videos. But in this particular moment, select wave Microsoft, W A V Microsoft. And now look below, you will find this option called format options. And inside that you will find this one option called encoding right here in this option, you need to select signed 16 bit PCM. So if you click on this drop down list, there are a whole bunch of different options, but you need to select signed 16 bit PCM. So keep that in mind. Now, after you're done selecting all these options, simply click on the save button. Now it might take a couple of seconds for the audio to get saved. And once it's done, you can go to the place where you saved it. So right here is my folder audacity recordings. So let me just double click on this folder. And as you can see, my audio track has been successfully saved right here. If I look at the details of this audio track, the length is 45 seconds and the type is WAV file, wave file. So let me just quickly play this audio track for you. So let's just wait for a couple of seconds for the audio to play. Perfect. So this is how you can actually edit an audio file in the audacity editor. Do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below. Like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will again see you in the next video. Till then. Thanks for watching.